Holly Randall Unfiltered is brought to you by Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve is like the biggest online sex toy retail store. And in fact, they don't just offer sex toys. They also have movies, they have lingerie. They basically have anything sexy that you could be looking for. Now they have an incredible offer. Get 50% off of any one item when you go to adamandeve.com. But that's not where it ends. So not only will you get 50% off any one item, they will also load up 10 free gifts for you on top of that. You will get six free movies, a free mystery pack that includes an item for him and a special toy for her and something we know you'll both enjoy, plus free shipping. Now that's a lot of free stuff, but you can only get this offer if you go to adamandeve.com and use my code HOLLY. That's Adam Eve. Dot com, use code Holly for 50% off of any one item plus 10 free gifts. All right. So we're back. Um, so let's talk about, I mean, I have to bring up your penis because that's like the one thing that everybody's kind of obsessed about. I mean, you have a very large penis. Have you like, I almost said, have you always had that? <laughs> I mean, clearly, yes, um, since you've been an adult. But like, did you, when did you kind of realize that your penis was maybe different from other people's penises? You know, it was late, late in life. Um, I thought, I thought every guy was packing what I had, to mm-hmm. be honest, you know, that's the, the God's honest truth. So it wasn't until late in life and really um, not until like the whole lifestyle thing kicked off you mm-hmm. know i mean i knew it was um slightly above average <laughs> but, <laughs> but um you know i i um i didn't know it was you know as big mm-hmm. um and 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 here's the thing that i want to throw this in really quick um because some people nowadays there's so many different methods of doing things and people are having surgery and and every now and then i'll see somebody go you know, oh man, he 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 had to have had something done. You know yeah. what I mean? He he did something to it. And my thing is always, look, if I ever had the opportunity to have like a surgically, you know, repaired penis, it would be the most perfect straight penis with the perfect head, and there would be no curve like I have to the left, and it would just be perfect. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So that whole idea is. No, I've never had anything done. It's never been altered. Um, it's just, it's what I've had, you know. I guess I have to give credit to my my, my father. You yeah. Know? And that's pretty much it. But it wasn't until, like, later on in life that I, you know, I knew. And it was really cemented going back to um, that whole uh, taking a few pictures and sending it in mm-hmm. to those guys saying, that's what really did it, you know. Yeah. I was like, wow, I didn't know, you know. Because yeah. when the guy, and he, this is, he, to quote him, he said, I've been looking at dicks all day and you're by far the guy. So Yeah, yeah. You rose to the top there. Bro- quickly. <laughs> you know? Now, you've said in the past that you've never measured your penis. Is that true? It is the God's honest truth. You know what I mean? Why? I, well, do you I mean, want to know? I, or do you I, not want to like just give like have this outrageous number that's going to shame everybody else? Well, no. You, you know what it is? I, I, I recall doing it many, many years ago. I think it was like a a ruler, you know, and, um, I just, you know, I didn't, until I got into porn, then I saw like how much emphasis is placed on <laughs> it's 15 inches. Oh, it's, it's not 15 inches. Mm-hmm. It's not, it's not that big. Um, so I just always kind of kept it as, you know, let people think what they want. You know, I know in my mind it was big, but I mean, I didn't to this day, I think every day I get messages from people just how big is that monster? You know, I'm mm-hmm. like, look, I don't really know. I don't know. They don't believe me, you know, but it's the, it's the God's honest truth. No lie. Um, and I just kind of, what I would tell people, like when I was in a lifestyle, I would tell them it's 10 inches just to play it safe. And they would always laugh and go, oh, to play it safe, 10 inches. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but yeah, it's in that vicinity. Yeah. I would, I, it's probably a little bit more than that, but you it know. could be. I've heard there are people who have said, "Look, I've been I've been with a guy who had had a ten inch, and yours is way bigger," you know. And just I'm like, okay. So I always kind of leave it up to 
uh, the people to kind of, you know, speculate. Plus, it's kind of fun to me to hear mm-hmm. people go, I bet it's like 14, maybe 13, maybe 20. So you should do one of those like raffle contests, you know, where they do one where like guess how many gumballs are in the jar. And if you guess correctly, you get a prize. Right. You should do like a whole thing, like guess how many inches Dred's penis is. And if you win, you get like Ooh. some kind of prize. Now that's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And, 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 you know, really quick, there was one shoot I did where in the beginning, the girl had out a tape measure and um, she was like, wow, how big? And she put in a tape measure, but she never really put it, like lined it up perfectly, right? Mm-hmm. So just from that shoot, people were like, well, we saw when she had it up to you and they'll have like a, 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 a screenshot from the scene. I'm like, oh my God, they're really <laughs> over the top with this, you know? So. Yeah. You're like, but it, you don't feel it was accurate because it wasn't straight and it wasn't no, a face. No, definitely so. was not accurate. Did but it sell you short then? It, it was, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think it, it may have sold me short, but there were people who, it was kind of like, aha, I told you, you know, and I'm like, oh God, yeah, so. <laughs> Is it kind of like bizarre, this people's, everybody's like obsession with your penis? <sighs> um, I mean, got- I know that's like a big centerpiece of your career, but yeah. do you ever just get sick of people talking about it or like asking you about it i mean it is it is i've I've gotten so used to it it is what it is but i i always like especially the 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 attitude i had in porn i i tried to translate i mean in uh, the lifestyle i tried to translate into porn which is when you see me it's more than that it's Mm -hmm. not just about the dick you know like because you know a lot of times in those uh swinger situations Part of the deal is um, socializing and just mm-hmm. talking and getting to know each other, you mm-hmm. know, before it's actually, you know. So my thing was always, it's not just about the dick. I'm a pretty versatile guy. I like to consider myself, you know, someone of having, uh, you know, reasonable intelligence, you know. So it's not just about that. I don't want everybody to be fixated on that. But of course, in porn, a lot of it comes down to that, which is, it's fine by me. I could I could roll with it. Right. You know? But I mean, being a porn insider, I've... You know, like I mentioned earlier, I've heard so many people just rave about you and about how you're so wonderful to work with and you're so um, nice and you're gentle and you're considerate. And these are all things that I think a lot of fans don't don't think about, you know, because they see your huge penis and they think, oh, these girls, they must be like dying and like don't want to have sex with you. And oh, you know what I mean? But every girl has been like, yeah, he's big, but he's so gentle and like he's really considerate and, you know, like he makes it work. Sure. Uh, Well, I do my best. And and a lot of that has come from, again, my ears, you know, swinging, but I do my best to try to um, you know, uh, think about who I'm shooting with. Mm-hmm. It's never a situation where it's like, all right, I'm going to pull this big dick out and I'm just going to dominate with this thing. Yeah. Get out of my way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's never, it's never that. And the thing is, I, I know there are girls who think that it's like that because mm-hmm. there are girls that I'm on their no list just because of my size. You right. Know? Right. Oh, I know he's a nice guy and everything, but no way, you know, yeah. uh, I get that all the time. Mm-hmm. And, I'm, and in my head, I'm just like, hey, just give it a chance. You never know. <laughs> you know, what I mean? you know, a lot of times, fans request me with girls, and I never say anything. Even though I'm active on social media and everything, but I never really engage a whole lot. But why don't you shoot with this one or that one? And in my head, I'm like, she's never gonna shoot with me. Yeah. You know, it's not happening. You guys keep hoping for it, but yeah. and I wish that wasn't the case. So it, it is. It could be detrimental. Mm -hmm. to a certain degree, having this size. But for the girls who I've shot with multiple times who totally get it and get me as a person, you know, Mm -hmm. I I just have nothing but respect for that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I have, so I have some questions here for my Patreon members. Um, So Adrian asks, uh, how often have you had a scene partner unable to handle your size? Like, have you ever done a scene with someone and they tried and it just didn't work? I did. I did, actually. That has happened um, on more than one occasion, uh, but not that many. Not as many as people would think. Um, I I would say, like, maybe three or four times. And you've done probably hundreds of scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you know, again, my number scenes versus a lot of other guys, you know, pales in comparison, you know, because I just, I've always, once I got back in, I would always just be, 
uh, you know, um, stuck with that one person for the most part that I was shooting for, mm -hmm. you know, whether it was the guys in Miami, whether it was um, when I was shooting for uh, Evil Angel a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, up until with Jules. So it was always like one spot to the, you know, uh, there was a little period where, where it was overlapping and I was shooting for multiple, but that didn't last too long. So, um, so yeah, um, it has happened. It has, yeah. yeah. Holly Randall Unfiltered is brought to you by Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve is like the biggest online sex toy retail store. And in fact, they don't just offer sex toys. They also have movies, they have lingerie. They basically have anything sexy that you could be looking for. Now they have an incredible offer. Get 50% off of any one item when you go to adamandeve.com but that's not where it ends. So not only will you get 50% off any one item, they will also load up 10 free gifts for you on top of that. You will get six free movies, a free mystery pack that includes an item for him and a special toy for her and something we know you'll both enjoy, plus free shipping. Now that's a lot of free stuff, but you can only get this offer if you go to adamandeve.com and use my code HOLLY. That's adameve.com. Use code Holly for 50% off of any one item plus 10 free gifts.